over 750 stocks in one fund. Yes, you heard that right. Grow Mutual Fund launches India's only Nifty Total Market Index Fund. The new fund offer or NFO opens on 3rd October 2023 and closes on 17th October. Explore now. Mutual Fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. Hi, this is Krubhakar and Rajendran. Welcome to another video with Grow. See, if you're an option trader who's getting started with options, who wanted to really be you know, successful at options trading, then there is one concept that you really need to know. It is PCR. See, you need to understand what is PCR, how most successful traders use this PCR ratio as you no, know, not the important indicators or one of the important tools. See, PCR is nothing but it is commonly called as put call ratio. So it is kind of a number, a specific value based on which an option trader you no know, determines whether the market is bullish or bearish, whether the market is going to go up or go down. So instead of you no know, looking at the chart of the price of the underlying, you no know, most option traders look into this PCR value and accordingly they take their specific decision whether to go long or go short in the markets. See, before we go in and explain about PCR, it is very necessary to understand the concept behind this option seller is an option bias. So why do we you know, give so much importance to option sellers rather than option buyers? Because with option buyers, anybody could get started with option buying. Whether it is 500 rupees capital or 5000 rupees capital, you can directly get in and you know, buy the respective contract. And you know, most of these option buyers expect huge returns with minimal capital. But these option sellers know in order to take just one single contract or one single position, you need to have at least minimum of 1 lakh of capital. So the requirement itself is bigger for option sellers and their return expectation is relatively less. So these option sellers always have upper end in the market. So they are the one who was going to determine where the market is to going to go up or going to go down based on their respective positions in the market. So they are the one who is the primary reason who creates this open interest levels. So by tracking these open interest levels only, you know, people determine where the market is going to go up where the specific support is there, where the specific resistance is there. Everything is determined based on the open interest created by option sellers. So in order to you know, be a successful trader, so either you can do all this research and you know you can determine where the market is going to go based on your research and accordingly take position or you just observe where these option sellers are, what their respective positions are and try to mimic, try to follow their path so that it is much easier that you will be on the right side of the trade most of the time. So consider this example. So you no, know, consider that there is a big sea out there and obviously there are you know, much bigger fishes out there. All these bigger fishes you know, tends to eat small fishes for food. So if you, you know, take a large whales, so these whales like blue whales and all these whales, their primary food is to eat small fishes. And there are other fishes which is not as big as these whales, but they also try to eat these small fishes. So, all you have to do is, when you track these big whales, all they do is, they just exactly know where the small fishes will be, you know, playing around. So, they go in that route and try to eat all those small fishes. But the other relatively, you know, big fishes, which is not as big as the, you know, whale, they try to follow the whale. They try to go along with the whale. They try to, you know, follow the same whale's path. And then they exactly know, okay, if such a big whale is going to have a big you know, meal today, all I have to do is go in that route and try to eat those leftovers. So after these you know, big whales go and eat those small fishes, whatever that is left over or no, there could be some other small fishes that could be scrambled around and other big fishes will come and eat those small fishes. So by tracking the movement of these big whales, the other fishes tends to eat their food. So this is the exact you no know, model which we you know as an option seller we need to follow. We just have to follow the big money so they exactly know where the market is going to go and accordingly they take the positions so we just have to follow their path and take the necessary trades so let's see how this option no analysis can be done how pcr can be calculated so i'll explain all this step by step with the coming example we just need to go to this nsc option chain analysis where you no, know, what you have to do is just go and google about nsc india option chain you'll get this link where you can track the you know, options analysis of Nifty, Fin Nifty, Bank Nifty, Midcap Nifty. So I'm selecting Nifty here and then I'm selecting the expiry date here. So the recent expiry, it is automatically going to you know, give me all the details relevant to options data like open interest, change in open interest, volume, IV, LTPs and everything. So these highlighted you know, rows, these are nothing but the list of podium options. 
like you no know, for an example if you could see 19600 and 19650 these are the atm levels so from here what are the list of strikes that are away from the spot so if 19600 is the current spot then with respect to call options anything above this 19600 will be considered as otm options similarly for put options if you for an example if 19650 or 19650 is the current level then anything below this 19650 would be considered as otm options so these white colors and gray colors you see those are nothing but otm options and in the money options so as a you know, option trader, what we have to do is you forget about all the data like bid quantity, ask, change quantity, LTP, everything. Our primary focus should be on this open interest data. So we just have to calculate this open interest data to see what you know, is the overall PCR ratio. So as I mentioned earlier, there are two players out there. There are players who short put options. There are players who short call options. So players who short put options are say stating that you no know, say suppose if i'm shorting a put option of nifty as a seller what i'm saying is okay the market is not going to go down further because when you short put options you make money only when the market goes up so if more number of option sellers who are shorting put options which directly determines that market is bullish similarly with respect to call options if no more option sellers starts selling a call option say suppose currently if nifty is at 20,000 if I'm shorting a 20,000 call option which means that as an option seller I am thinking that the market is not going to break this 20,000 and move up further so no I am extremely bearish when I'm shorting a call option so we have to determine whether the call options no open interest is more or put option open interest is more if the put option open interest is more which means that more number of option sellers have taken a position shorting the put option which determines that market is going to be bullish so if more number of call option open interest is there which means that the market is bearish so by tracking the open interest of put versus call we will have some pcr value that is going to determine how bullish or how bearish the market is so all you have to do is you click on this download csv file which is automatically going to download this you no know, whole data and from here we are going to calculate how you know the overall pcr values using the open interest okay, now we have downloaded the oh you no know, option change data here see this part will be considered as call option so i am highlighting this part which will be call option and this part will be put option so i'm highlighting in a different color so all we have to do is we have to focus only this open interest data which is the last row so i am focusing only on the last row and removing all other rows so I'm removing the rest of the rows keeping only the open interest data for call option similarly for put option i am removing all the rows keeping only the open interest so oi oi okay so now what I'm going to do is we have call options like strikes for the far away call options. See, this is the spot, 19,600 is the spot. And from here, like whatever, you know, the options that is below 19,600, those are OTM put options. And above 19,600, those are OTM call options. See, in order to calculate the put call ratio, you don't need to keep track of all the open interest. Like if you keep track of all the open interest, that might not give you a clear picture at times but still no you can go ahead if in case if you wanted to keep the overall process simple say suppose no as per the put call ratio you just have to calculate what is the total open interest of call so this is total open interest of call this is total open interest of put so you just have to do the summation here summation of what is the open interest of all call option similarly for put you calculate everything so as per this pcr ratio the value is nothing but you have to divide what is the summation of put which is this one divide by call put call ratio which is put divided by call that will give you certain value which is 0 0.64 so this is the overall value so if i see it here let me increase the font size so this is the put call ratio now 
so which determines that call options are having a upper hand compared to put options more number of contracts is there in call you now versus less number of contracts there is in put so which determines that more people are shorting the call option which directly denotes market is in bearish zone so exactly if you see the chart currently market is also in downtrend so this is a chart right now you're seeing so this is nifty chart as you could see nifty is in downtrend and this pcr value is also in downtrend so this pcr value determines the overall strength of the market if it is in a downtrend the market will also be in downtrend if it is an uptrend then the market will also be in uptrend so basically you know if the pcr value is you no know, uh, below one say suppose if it is actually one then it means that equal number of call options are there equal number of put options are there so obviously you know bo if both sellers and uh, sellers of call options sellers of put options are almost equal which means that market is in neutral zone but if sellers of put option is higher than the call option then the market is in bullish zone but if the sellers of call option is higher than put then the market is bearish zone so this is what i was talking about so if the pcr ratio where if based on the open interest if we calculate it and then if you see what is the overall ratio if it is 1 then the market is neutral if it is 1.25 from if it moves from 1 to 1.25 then market it's getting into bullish zone if it reaches 1.5 then market is totally into bullish zone and if it is into 1.8 then the market is in ultra bullish zone then we can expect reversals at any point of time similarly from one if it drops to 0 0.75 then the market is getting started into a bearish zone and from 0.75 if it goes to down to further to you know, 0 0.5 then the market is totally into a bearish zone and from 0 0.5 if it even goes down to 0 0.25 then the market is an extremely in bearish zone anytime we can expect a reversal so based on the pcr value this is how you can decide the overall you know, trend of the market whether it is in bullish zone or it is in bearish zone and the next part is see the first one is to calculate what is the open interest of all call options and all put options and there is other method where instead of calculating all the open interest levels say suppose you no know, this is this you no know, column is call option OA this co no column is put option OA right so in order to track what are the list of you no know, OAs that you need to track, you just take the first three in the money option. So if you no know, 19,600 is ATM, then I'll be taking you no know, from here first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. So I'm going to take only ten strikes. So if other money is 19,600, then just go two points in the money and you no know, take those two strikes so if 19600 is the current atm then i'm going to take you no know, two in the money options which is 19500 and 19550 and then from there the next seven otm options i'll take so i have to calculate what is the summation of these open interest alone so if i calculate the open interest of these strikes alone then i'm getting some value so which is around 21 41.313 so 21 lakhs 41,303. Similarly, for put options, I'm going to do the same thing. So if 19,600 is the you know, current ATM, then I'm going to take just two points from the in the money. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I need to get the open interest of these values only. So in that case, if I calculate, so from here till here. So this is going to give me what is the put option OA and call option OA only 10 strikes. So from the spot, we'll be you know capturing only the strikes which is closer to the spot. We'll going to ignore all other strikes which are far away from the spot because those OTM options are mostly will be used for edging purposes, so we might not really need it. So if I'm going to focus only on the 10 strikes which is closer to the spot, this is the overall data I'm getting for put versus call. Now, if I divide this put call ratio put divided by call, then I'm getting 0 0.58. So this is the chart where you now the green chart that you see is the nifty chart, the red chart that you see is nothing but the put call ratio chart. As you could clearly see, see as initially the put call ratio was around 1.45 and then slowly dropped to 1.3 and then slowly dropped to 1.2 and eventually came to 1. See, as long as this put call ratio keeps going down, the market also keeps going down. So as a trader, what you can do is 
you just observe where the market is going to you know move with respect to put call ratio say if you know currently if put call ratio is 1.42 then if it goes below that 1.4 say suppose from 1.4 if it comes to 1.3 then you can go short in the markets with a stop loss instead of using a stop loss on the underlying you can use a stop loss on the put call ratio where from 1.4 if it drops to 1.3 you short keeping a stop loss of a put call ratio where if it goes above 1.4 you cover it up so in that case what would have happened we would have shorted here where when the nifty was around you know 20,190 the pcr was 1.44 and then when once it goes down here where it goes to 1.35 so we would have shorted nifty at 20,079 level here because put call ratio has gone below the previous day's level so from 1.358 if it goes back to 1.4 which is around 100 point stop loss only when it goes back here i'll be covering up otherwise my short which i initiated here it will keeps valid keeps on as long as the pcr keeps going down it is still valid so which you know the short position which i have taken at around 20070 levels here currently you know market is around 19500 levels so almost i am in a profit of 500 points just by taking the queue from pcr levels so as long as the pcr level goes down you can now keep your short position open if in case pcr from here if it starts reverting up then goes up then you can cover your short position and go long so this is the overview of pcr so you know with pcr it can't give you, you know a clear signal like super trend where buy it at this level sell at this level but it can greatly help you in determining where the market is moving currently whether the market is in bullish zone or it is bearish zone so based on this PCR values, you can either go long or go short in the markets. So I hope you found this video really helpful. So in case if you have any doubts in this PCR explanations, please post in the comment section. I'll address it. Thank you. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. Please read the risk disclosure documents carefully before investing in equity shares, derivatives, mutual fund, and all other instruments traded on the stock exchanges.